What's up guys, welcome back to iFix Tech. Today we're going to demonstrate how to replace the motherboard on your Lenovo Team Pack E14 or E16. Let's get to it. Disconnect the power adapter. Press the power button to turn on the system. Tap the F1 key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup menu. Select the config menu. Select the power option from the list. Select disable built-in battery and click yes in the confirmation box. The system will shut down and the battery is disabled. Loosen 7 cap-top screws. Pry up the edges of the cover to release the clips. Lift the cover from the system. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Remove three screws. Lift the battery from the system. Remove the memory module bracket from the clips. Press the clips outward to release the memory module and pull it from the slot. Remove one screw from the MDA to solid state drive. Pull the drive from the socket. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless LAN card. Remove one screw. Pull the card from the slot. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Disconnect the I.O. board cable from the system board. Remove the antenna cables and the I.O. board cable from the guides on the system fan. Loosen three screws on the system fan. Lift the system fan from the chassis. Loosen the heatsink screws. Carefully lift the heatsink from the system. Disconnect the EDP cable and touch panel cable from the system board. Disconnect the trackpad cable, trackpoint cable, and I.O. board cable from the system board. Disconnect the coin cell battery cable from the system board. For the E16, disconnect the speaker cable from the system board. For the E14, remove two screws from the hinge on top of the system board. For the E16, remove three screws from that hinge. Pivot the hinge upwards from the system board. For the E14, remove three screws from the system board. For the E16, remove five screws from the system board. Carefully lift the system board and turn it over.
Disconnect the keyboard cable from the bottom of the system board and remove the board. Connect the keyboard cable to the bottom of the system board. Place the system board into position on the chassis, making sure to not trap cables underneath the board. For the E14, install three screws into the system board. For the E16, install five screws into the system board. Pivot the hinge down onto the system board. For the E14, install two screws into the hinge for the E16. Install three screws into the hinge. For the E16, connect the speaker cable to the system board. Connect the Cohen cell battery cable to the system board. Connect the trackpad cable, track point cable, and I.O. board cable to the system board. Connect the EDP cable and touch panel cable to the system board. Place the heatsink into position using the screw holes for alignment. Tighten the heatsink screws. Place the system fan into position using the screw holes for alignment. Tighten three screws on the system fan. Insert the antenna cables and I.O. board cable into the guides on the system fan. Connect the fan cable to the system board. Connect the I.O. board cable to the system board. Insert the wireless LAN card into the slot using the notch for alignment. Press the cut down and install one screw. Connect the black antenna cable to the auxiliary terminal. Connect the gray antenna cable to the main terminal. Insert the M.2 solid state drive into the socket using the notch for alignment. Install one screw. Insert the memory module into the slot using the notch for alignment. Press down to lock the module into place. Insert the memory module bracket into the clips. Place the built-in battery into the system using the screw holes for alignment. Install three screws. Connect the battery cable to the system board. Place the cover onto the chassis and press down around the edges to snap the clips into place. Tighten the seven captured screws to secure the cover. 